Hi, uh, this video is about uh, waveform graphs, charts, and XY graph in a lab view. Okay, so the top portion here in a, in a block diagram it shows a waveform graph. On the bottom part here it shows a waveform chart. So in the waveform graph it accepts array of data and then plot all of the data receive point at once. Okay, so here uh, this thermocouple it is going to generate the temperature between 70 to 80 and that 70 to 80 will be stored here uh, according to number of loops and once all these data points are collected it will plot at, at once okay at the single time um, here uh, waveform chart it will continuously uh, display the data as time moves on okay so that's the difference between a uh, waveform chart and graph okay I will cover the XY graph uh, on a, another VI in the same video okay uh, so this is the block diagram here now if I go at the front panel uh, let me initialize the data here so to initialize you can go here uh, let's see in the edit and then reinitialize value to default okay so once that data is cleared um, now uh, what I'm going to do here uh, I'm going to take the let's say I want to run this 10 loops here and a millisecond weight will be 1000 here okay here number of loops will be uh, again 10 and here I can set the same time 1000 okay I can change this one as well uh, but for now I just leave it like this and now once I have set this uh, number of loops here I can just run the data here once I click the run as you can see here it is uh, displaying the in the chart as time moves on it is displaying the data here uh, and this one it just displaying data after the for loop completed okay so that's the difference between uh, uh, graph and chart here okay um, here uh, just to uh, make sure uh, this is the thermocouple uh, it, it is a sub vi uh, you can check my other video how this sub vi works but um, in short it is generating the temperature between 70 to 80 degree okay so that's what this sub vi does uh, and that's pretty much about the this waveform graph and chart and now let me open the xy graph how the xy graph works so this is the xy graph here okay and once i uh, open the show block diagram it is showing the logic behind it so here there is a quadratic equation 2x square uh, let me make a little bit here so a little bit down as well okay so what and this y is connected here so what it does is it is uh, giving the value of y based on the value of x okay so this is x raised 2 times x raised to 2 plus x plus 1 okay so that is the equation and uh, that is give you the value of y uh, here x I am going to convert to the double here and then it is going to build array here uh, again this one is going here so two point is collecting and it is uh, going in the xy graph okay the template uh, the count here it is a 50 count for the for loop uh, it start with the minus 25 because when i is equal to 0 i am going to deduct the 25 so the first point will be minus 25 then minus 24 and so on all the way up to plus 25 okay so that's the uh, logic here now if I go back to the my front panel uh, I just need to just click run here and it is plotting the graph here XY graph okay so based on the as I mentioned X go minus 25 and it go all the way up to plus 25 and uh, based on those values of X it is plotting the value of Y now I can change the expression here unless I want to get rid of this 2 and then I can say x raised to 2 and then 5x plus 1 okay in that case um, let's see how the graph will look like oops okay uh, five, there is a sign missing here okay now this vi is fixed that was a multiplication sign was missing and now once I click here 
and now it's showing the different graph here okay so uh, that's how this uh, xy graph works here so hopefully you like this video if you like it subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching okay bye